Hey guys, I'm Monster Beast here again uh, with another redstone build. Today we're going to be discussing pulse extenders, what they're used for, and what they look like. So let's start right at it. If we look at something like a simple uh, piston pushing machine, this could be a door, etc. This is what it looks like when you put a but push a button. It's very quick. Now sometimes you want that, and sometimes you don't. So what if we wanted to hold this a little longer? Well, we would use something called the pulse extender. Right here it is. It's very simple to build. If you look here, this is what it'll look like when I push the button. It will extend the pulse given off by the button. So how do I build this? Very simple. Take a two by three, right like this. You're gonna put two redstones in the front you're gonna to want to face one in the back. Very important that the two things here, this will be part of your output. You'll put another redstone comparator facing this way, and you'll put a block here. Now, either of these can be used as an output, as you'll see later, but this is essentially the pulse extender. Your output does not go there. This is part of the looping system. Now. I'll show you what it looks like with that same contraption that at first I showed you. So we've added the pulse extender here. As you can see, our line runs to the front. There's our redstone comparator facing that way, redstone comparator facing this way. You can take output off of either of these. Uh, if, you, if I push it there, you'll see that it extends that pulse and it holds that piston pushing machine longer. Now I can also use this and it will do the same thing. So you have two output options. Either way, it's being looped and the pulse is being extended. Now, what does this look like in a more complicated machine? Well, I'll take you over here to a hidden door. And if you haven't seen that video, you might want to go watch it on how to build this thing. You'll see that it's really quick. Now, if we add a pulse extender from where we push our button, you'll see that I've used this second output line. And what I've done is I've kept this active because I want to keep this closed and looking flush. So all I've done is put a button on the door and then a pulse extender. I've ran a torch here to activate all this. So essentially when I click that button, the pulse extender will activate, close that torch, and it'll be a much better door. So let's take a look at that. If I push that, you'll see I have plenty of time to run through that flush piston door. And if we look at what's happening, you'll see, oops, you'll see this pulse actually holds. And there, it turns back on. So this, anytime you're looking to use a button and extend a pulse, this is what you would use to do that. So hopefully this makes sense. I'm not 100% positive this works on Bedrock version. Bedrock version would be uh, the Minecraft version that you get from the Windows Store, uh, the PS4 version, Xbox version, and the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I know this hidden flush door, the way I have this set up, does not work on that. Um, I'm not sure if the pulse extender works on Bedrock version or not. So I'm going to say this is strictly for Java users. Uh, because I simply don't know. I don't have the Bedrock version. Uh, I've always played Java. So this is what the Pulse Extender looks like. Hopefully that explains everything. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments. Uh, I'm very good about uh, being actively involved with those comments and helping you troubleshoot. So have a good day, and we will see you next time.